to our top story now as Margot Stanley describes it. It was a random attack and one that came out of nowhere. It happened early Sunday morning and since then her 22 year old boyfriend has been in the hospital. So far no one has been arrested and those medical expenses they are starting to add up. 10 11 now's Grace McDonald brings us this update tonight. Margot Stanley has visited the hospital every day to visit her boyfriend Armin Ajir in the ICU. And just today, she saw his eyes open for the first time since he was jumped and left badly beaten. He was able to hold my hand and he just, he teared up a little bit and it made me almost cry. The attack happened here, near 33rd and Holdridge Streets at 2 a.m. when Ajir came to pick up his girlfriend. Stanley said that's when six or seven men robbed and beat Ajir even after he was knocked unconscious. I felt almost stuck at first, didn't know what to do um, other than just uh, trying to push away the men who were attacking him. Um, after he was already down, they had kept kicking him and hitting him. The attackers took Ajir's shoes off his feet, which cost about $1,000. Stanley stopped them from taking his car, but they stole her purse in the process. She set off her SOS signal on her phone, causing the attackers to leave and police to arrive. I spoke with Lincoln police just a few hours ago. They told me right now there are no updates as to who the attackers were, but that the investigation is ongoing. A juror was taken off of ventilators and is no longer being sedated at Brian West. He is still in a neck brace due to three neck fractures and torn ligaments. Stanley has set up a GoFundMe to help pay for a juror's medical and other expenses. Reporting in Lincoln, Grace McDonald, 1011 Now.